learning works like magic, also in medicine. Wait a minute, magician Hannah. Can you answer how? How can it accelerate health impact? I know the tricks of the trade to make it work using technologies at your fingertips. Since 2017, I have been leading our Health in Our Hands grand challenge. Technologies we have innovated put your health in your hands, for example, as easily accessible smartphone apps. And they work like magic. But making my magic work would really benefit from your help. It would be amazing if all of you joined in my first out of four magic tricks. What you will do is to imagine your phone having this app, it has two circles to tap on as fast as you can. Just like in musical statues, you will start when the music starts and do not stop before the music st stops. Are you ready? Yes. Hold your imaginary phone in front of you. Have your two tapping fingers ready. Steady. Go. Thanks for tapping. Did you count your taps? <laughs> Trust me. The app did, together with some other statistics about your tapping pattern on the touch screen. And see, like magic, machine learning can classify if the person tapping has Parkinson's disease, as 10 million people in the world do. It compares, for example, your number of taps to the red and blue sample for people with and without Parkinson's disease. And if this wasn't enough, please join me to see what machine learning can do based on your voice for Parkinson's disease. Now, imagine your phone has this app. You will simply say, ah, to the microphone on your phone. This can be confronting, but it will be less so if everyone joins, even softly. This will make my magic work better too. Are you ready? Yes. Hold your imaginary phone in front of you. Ready, steady, go. Um, thank you. Of course, the aim here is not to replace the medical experts, but rather to support them in measuring signs and symptoms. What machine learning does it measures your voice. Because the voices sound different and because also the signs and symptoms differ, we use these four colors. Warm colors refer to people with Parkinson's disease. Red for male voices and orange for female voices. Cold colors are for people without the disease. Blue for male and green for female voices. The four colors are used because the voices sound different and because also the sign and symptoms differ. Can you see where the boundaries of the four classes are? I can't, but machine learning can. 
the recorded voice signal looks like this. X is the time and Y the signal amplitude or loudness. Machine learning measures this signal, for example, how tall the peaks are or what is the area under the signal from one time point to another. These measures are called Bauer markers and because they can be quite complicated to compute, even impossible to hear, or really hard to compute in combinations, the magic of machine learning works. But what would these future technologies mean for Parkinson's disease? The magic tricks of an ah may sound simple, but repeating them regularly every day, week or month allows intervening at the right time. It allows timing more burdensome tests better. For example, having to lie still down in brain MRI tube at a hospital. Apps bring you easily the magic of machine learning to the convenience of your home. It can measure the right information at the right time when it is convenient to you or when you are concerned about a given sign or symptom. This supports early intervention before dying brain cells begin to cause problems, how people with Parkinson's disease think, feel, move or behave. It's time to move on to the third magic trick. This time, it would be again amazing if you joined. You will simply use imaginary binoculars to look into the distance. Namely, you will take a visual field test by looking into the distance through this device for 80 seconds. Wait a second, magician Hannah. Wait a second. To be truthful, a little bit more is needed. 82 seconds, to be precise. Are you ready? Place your imaginary binoculars on your eyes. You can now just relax your arms, breathe, stare, and let the seconds fly by. I will tell you a story, do a countdown, and also tell you when you can stop staring. 82, 81, 80. Look into the distance, look into these yellow circles. Can you imagine that eyes of an owl are staring at you, staring at you from the other end of that binocular looking device? Eyes of an owl staring back at you. Could that binocular looking portable device be a personalized medicine technology? Can it hold small, smart sensors? Three, two, one. All done. You can stop. Yes, it can. For many neurological diseases and diabetes alike, Smart sensing and sense-making systems can measure both brain and eye health. You doing that visual field testing for 82 seconds allowed measuring their biomarkers. 
Simple, systematic and scalable monitoring is significant because in less than 20 years, one in 10 of us will have diabetes. This will total in about 650 million people worldwide with diabetes by 2040. Here, you can see a measurement device that our health in our hands has created and commercialized with its partners. It is for visual field testing at an eye testing clinic. It is significant because it shows that measuring signs and symptoms is not limited and the machine learning making sense of them, it is not limited to a given disease, although careful crafting is needed to make it work like magic. My work creates those machines, portable, personalized medicine technologies. It brings them to bear. As said by some of our study participants in our health in our hands, it brings people hope. Partnering with them can be extremely rewarding for us all. These lived experience experts, they're healthcare providers, as scientists, and our research translation partners. As my fourth and final trick, I will tell you that this is not actually a magician's hat. I will pull a rabbit out of this hat and tell that this is my Finnish doctor of philosophy hat. Wearing it helps me co-create these machines as a professor of machine learning. However, my leadership is not only about data and computing, but it is about bringing people together across disciplines, professions, and areas of expertise. This can bring you hope. Hope of knowing better how your health will be in the future. In, without partnering of this kind, we cannot make the discoveries. We cannot have the data and we cannot convert them into information and knowledge and wisdom. Instead, in collaboration, people and machines need to be brought together. Overall, you having your health in your hands will better and better personalize medicine technologies. This will take place through machine learning strategies, trustworthy evaluations, and interpretable in insights. By daring to enter this acceleration of health impact, I'm humbled to discover again and again in the poetic words by Dr. Mark Nepo that the act of living itself unravels both the answer and the question. I hope I have clarified today that machine learning is not like magic. People need experts to adapt machine learning to their needs. Also, transparent technology evaluations that are trustworthy are critical. Additional safety mechanisms are needed when apps are used as decision aids. And they are even more important if apps are used remotely at home. Finally, privacy is a priority. The next time I have a research question to answer and you see its call for research participants, 
please volunteer. Join, just like you did today, in the magic of machine learning. <laughs>